slept under a bridge. <laughs> Said you never get wet under there. There's snow to fall in. <laughs> it's actually pretty peaceful down there, really. The creek going by here, the battle of the brook, you know. It's pretty, pretty relaxing. Uh, it was dangerous, too. Today we're at the original Eden Village. We opened this village in 2018, and it's a first-class um, manufactured tiny home community for people that were chronically homeless in Springfield. We were locking up one evening and getting ready to go home to our warm bed when our friends had to go hide somewhere in a campsite, and it was cold, wet, damp, and that's when I said, this is not right. These are our friends. In the larger community, it's, it's changing people's perceptions of homelessness is the challenge, right? To bring out um, the humanity of that individual that lives different than you, that has a different economic level than you, that looks different and smells different than you. To say, hey, that person is created in the image of a good and loving God. We had no idea that it would expand outside of Springfield. And so now, with 11 cities already signed on to do Eden Villages, uh, we know there will be more. When we walked down to my house and they said, well, this is your home, you know, I didn't want to cry in front of them. And I didn't, you know, um, I waited until, you know, my first night in there and I got down, I prayed and I thank God for relieving me of that and giving me a, a place to stay, you know, a place to call home. And it was, um, it was very beautiful. I didn't know what to think. I thought, man, I died and went to heaven there. <laughs> In less than four years, we ended homelessness for 55 people. It's possible to end homelessness one person, one home at a time.